Alright guys, we're back with the devil is in the detail and what you have to understand is once you add tech you're gonna have more precision and so you need to act with more precision. You know, think laser surgery versus a scalpel. <sighs> I know that's not the best example, but I, you know, I think we need to write that down too, Mike. You're you're gonna have you're gonna have the ability to act with more precision. So the absence of doing that, that's not gonna be good. So that's where people are going wrong. They're just thinking you say sit, you pat it on the head, and then that's it. So this is actually the brother to the other one. And it will push me around too. He's actually bigger than the other one, but he's got a lot more detail. He's got less drive as far as the retrieving. So that does make him easier to control. I, I don't know what to tell people. You know, when people say, oh, I want a high drive dog, why? When people say, I want a working line shepherd, I go, no, 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 no. You need show lines. You need show lines. You need something that looks good but drives like a Buick. <laughs> yeah. So this dog, he might give me the shake off. And I want you to understand if you said, well, I want to get rid of the shake off. Not like anybody ever says that. If you said, how could you do it? I don't know if anybody would ever even say that, but I think, yeah, maybe you would. Oh, here's an idea, Mike. You could get a dummy collar and put it on the dog. Yeah, you see? I have to say that maybe he's giving the collar the shake off. I'm in denial, uh, just like these people. An alleged bite. Oh, an alleged shake off. <laughs> Mike's like, she's losing it. It's Friday at least, right? No, it's only Thursday. Oh, okay. So, I think, you know, we're not, people don't think in terms, I do kind of feel bad about ripping into that guy, but it's just too cocky. Top notch training? You're full of yourself if you truly believe that that's top-notch training. It was awful. I told him, I said I showed it to two serious pros, and they said it was awful and horrendous. I won't name names, but you know who you are. So if you said, what detail do I want with this dog? Every which way bought loose. So I should be able to move him this way, this way, this way, this way. Get him on the platform. He tries to augment it himself, but that's what I have to think of. I should be able to move it every which way. If I have the ability to move it, the only way, only reason it wouldn't move every which way is if I didn't teach it that. And Skylar, he's just, he's right there all the time. And I want you to know, he pretends like he hasn't eaten. I feed him and then, then I forget and then I feed him again. He just, he just keeps eating. And then he has to go outside in the middle of the night. So I'm saying to myself, everything about my body right here, I'm, I'm every detail. So I, you know, those are just very subtle movements that the dog, I can move the dog. With. We, we've got to say to ourselves, they can see the tiniest move. They can see the tiniest move. So yeah, no, the bo both of those two, they were just, if I didn't know what I was doing, I do what I'm doing and they still take, you know, they're still hard to handle. And if you said, well, they're size. You know, if you said, well, I don't know how much stronger. Can you look that up, Mike? Hang on. But I'm, 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 I'm training him with every part of my body. He's looking at my face, but he's, he's seeing the totalitarianism of what I'm doing, if that makes any sense. You know, I can put it in motion. And he doesn't have the leaps and stuff. I could probably get him. Peel.
exaggerating what I'm doing, though. But I'm speaking completely with my body language. Heal. I can do it verbal. Heal. But honestly, for that tie to work, I'm going to go in this way. And it's very detailed. So that's what you've got to think of. If you're not doing that level of detail, if, if you're not doing that level of detail and you're training them long term, yeah, no, obviously you're not going to get to that kind of detail if you're, uh, you know, just doing, you know, he's, he's convinced there's something to fetch. And if you said why, I, I guess he saw that footstool. That's the only thing I can say. I just jockeyed him back into place with the pager, though. And if you said, well, that was a correction, it really wasn't. It's not not a correction, but it's not a conventional. Maybe it's unconventional correction, Mike. Maybe that's what we have to think of. But this, even though it's a very, very large dog, I can maneuver him every way I want to maneuver him in this small space. Tiny step. Tiny step back. Tiny step forward. Tiny step back. You know, there's that much detail to it. There's no jerking on the leash. I don't know, hopefully you can hear the pager. I'm on zero. But that's what I'm using. Because if I can take a big step, I'm gonna just take a tiny. He almost fell in the pool. <laughs> anyway, you guys get the idea. So this allows me more precision so i better develop methodologies that have more precision or that's not good all right let me get my thing You know, and I mean, I've got a lot of momentum I can tap into. That's why I can do that. If you've got a slow, sluggish dog, it might be hard. All right, I don't like this platform. Uh oh, oh crap. Ah, sorry, you guys. Help. Okay, are you guys still there? Are you okay? Okay, so I don't like the way this platform is. Uh oh, hang on, hang on. I think you're upside down. Uh. Okay, is that better? I don't like the way this platform is configured for the retrieving, but I can do it one time. I could do it like this. He's not steady. He's giving it right to me, though. All right, hang on. One more time. I know I shouldn't do it like that because that's kind of releasing him to go. I'm going to show you how I should do it. But I am doing the pager. 
I am sending it with the pager. So the pager does mean to go away in this context. This is how I should do it. I had to switch hands, but... All right, hang on, I'm show you one more time. It's not easy. All right, so I gotta restrain the dog because he's not steady. I switch hands. There's my hand signal. You have to think of it like the sight of a gun. You're sending out, your fingers are like a gun sight. All right, you guys, I gotta go. This guy will be here in a minute, so I will be back with... Uh...